On June 24th, a YCSO deputy was dispatched to a local hospital regarding a sexual assault report. The 13-year-old victim stated she was at a party in Mayer on June 21st and admitted to drinking alcoholic beverages, eventually passing out. The victim and a friend were in the company of 19-year-old Levi Wagner from Avondale, and Levi was encouraging her to drink. She awoke the next day and realized she had been sexually assaulted by Levi, who was lying next to her. The victim also suffered visible bruising on her neck and arms. That evening, a YCSO detective was assigned to the case. Further investigation continued until the next day, and detectives were able to secure an admission by Levi to the assault. On June 26, Levi was located at his place of employment in Avondale and arrested. He was booked into the Camp Verde Detention Center on charges including sexual conduct with a minor and sexual assault, and he's being held without bond. Sexting. The following case is currently under investigation and should be a reminder that the transmission of sexually explicit images of minors is a violation of the law and subject to prosecution. As this investigation shows, there is no privacy on social media sites, and those involved will always leave a cyber trail, allowing detectives to track down suspects sharing such material. Parents and guardians need to monitor the cell phone computer activity of their children on a regular basis and gain access to accounts that are password protected for review. Teens should not expect an expectation of privacy, especially under circumstances where such activity is suspected. They should understand the, quote, intrusion is for their own protection. Regarding the case, earlier this year, deputies met with a 17-year-old female who reported that nude photos of her taken when she was 15 years old had been recently published on an Instagram website. The photos were taken by her now ex-boyfriend, who was the only person with access as far as the victim knew. The victim eventually had a chat with four females known to her where they called her derogatory names and admitted to setting up an account with the photos. She claimed she was forced by her ex-boyfriend into taking the photos. The deputy verified the postings, discussed the case with the victim's mother, and completed a report. A YCSO detective was assigned to the case and initiated further interviews with those involved and issued search warrants for content on any related social media accounts. Unfortunately, it can take weeks or even months to get data from social media services like Instagram. This data is critical to establishing account ownership and identify who accessed the accounts. In late April, the case detective received account information and issued a subpoena to determine ownership of the Internet address identified. In early May, that information was obtained. Over the next few weeks, detectives tracked down at least two persons directly involved in setting up the account and inviting others to join. The detective has since submitted a case to the county attorney proposing charges including unlawful disclosure of images depicting states of nudity or specific sexual activities, also harassment, and finally, juvenile intentionally or knowingly use an electronic communication device to transmit or display a visual depiction of a minor that depicts explicit sexual material. All those involved are under the age of 18.